so what happens after growth formation what happens after growth formation of course it is fibrinolysis if fibrinolysis doesn't take place then it might lead to deep vein thrombosis or dvt we start with intrinsic and extrinsic pathway which leads to the conversion of prothrombin into thrombin this process requires calcium ions so intrinsic and extrinsic pathway all contribute to the formation of thrombin from prothrombin we have done that in our previous video please check it out then after thrombin formation it facilitates the conversion of fibrinogen into fibrin then fibrin is converted into stabilized fibrinogen i want you to get there very well that fibrinogen is converted into fibrin through the action of thrombin then fibrin is then converted into stabilized fibrin this process takes a few days then this stabilized fibrin has to be degraded together with the fibrin and the fibrinogen they have to be degraded so that we don't have too much growth leading to the deep vein thrombosis or dvt this is the work of plasmin plasmin degrades this stabilized fibrin into d dimer it degrades it degrades fibrin into fibrin degradation products and fibrinogen into fibrin degradation products so the work of plasmin is to degrade this all these we have talked about these three where does plasmin come from it comes from plasminogen then plasminogen has to be converted into plasmin through the urokinase and tissue plasminogen activator which comes from the injured epithelium the tpa comes from the injured epithelium then factor 11a and factor 12a are also necessary for this process so this process just summarizes what happens immediately after growth formation after growth has been formed it has to be degraded because too much of growth might lead to conditions such as dvt